So hello everyone and welcome back to the Manchester United FIFA 20 career mode here on the channel. We have reached breaking point. It is a crucial, vital time of the season and we are only just getting started here. It is going to be a gargantuan episode and we're kicking things off with a Carabao Cup final against Manchester City. It's a Manchester derby at Wembley and there's some silverware on the line yet again. It is another massive occasion. This episode is no different. We're going to have some massive blockbuster games and it is going to be fiery all the way through. And you just know, when Kevin De Bruyne gives you the eyes, when Paul Pogba does a little death stare, a lot is on the line here at Wembley. Let's hope London is red and Manchester is red after this game. If you're looking to keep up to date with all the latest scores, news, transfers, and everything the footballing world has to offer, make sure to check out OneFootball. It's available on both iOS and Android. It allows you to follow your favorite teams, your favorite players, and so much more. The download link is in the description, so make sure to give it a go. It's completely free. It is a must-have app for every football fanatic. Sancho is having a little dig at us in the media, so hopefully we can get his uh, little morale and career back on track here. He's not happy with his involvement, even though we've been playing him a lot. Jane and Sancho, come on. You're going to be up against your former team. You've got to be fired up for this one. Let's take a quick glance to see what is on the horizons. What have we got to look forward to this episode? Obviously, that Carabao Cup final, then a round of 16 clash up against Tottenham. So that is definitely one I'm looking to play. And then looking at the rest of March, we can, we can kind of simulate these ones. It's not too much of a big deal. And then it's all depending on who we get in the next round of the quarterfinals in the Champions League after we absolutely obliterated RB Leipzig in their patch. We're going to simulate that game at Old Trafford and hopefully play the quarters this episode. There's going to be an interesting Champions League draw, so make sure you stick around for that. As it is a major cup final, our manager, we've got to look the part. We've got to look up to scratch as it is a formal occasion and we need to look the best we can be. Over here with Serb ECHD, we have changed up his uh, look a little bit because a few of you guys were a bit questionable of the little freaky kind of obscure outfits we had in the last episode with the golden jacket and the likes. However, we got a quick little haircut. We had to go down to the Manchester barber shops and boss man hooked us up pretty well. And of course, the fresh little suit and the red and white tie representing United on Derby Day. Got the badge on the chest. That is all we need going into this massive one at Wembley. Pep Guardiola is shaking in his boots right now. Aaron Wambasaka has earned himself for red card, so he won't be participating in the final. It's Diogo Dalot thrown in the deep end today. So let's get this one underway. United taking on City. We're in for another major cup final classic. So we've been here before, United fans. This is a current occasion. This is a reoccurring thing. It looks like we've got a bit of snow, a few flurries to greet us on the pitch today. We've got a difficult little match condition here, but hopefully we can push through. And hopefully that's not an excuse today. Man City beat Middlesbrough 9-0. Oh my goodness. They absolutely destroyed them. Meanwhile, we beat Everton 5-2 in the semis. Okay, Man City, you know, you need to chill. Relax, guys. And we're just taking a look at Wembley right now. We've got the TIFOs. We've got the banners. And the mods we've gotten installed adds to the match day experience. You can see our Man United flag in the bottom right. The Man City flag. And as the lads are shaking hands, let's get straight into this one. The captain, David De Gea, he's ready to lift up another trophy today. Marcus Rashford kick us off. We've got to get down to business. I'm not really a fan of playing in the snow, but we got to have no excuses for today. Jaden Sancho, who was unhappy about his involvement, he's had an early chance there to put us into the lead. We're rugged up on the sidelines with that massive coat. Now it's here with Anthony Martial, recently scored overnight against Norwich City. And now it is Malinkovic Savic. We're charging forward with real intent here. Look at Kai Havertz. Oh, I thought that was the opener. The German just pulls his shot wide. Jaden Sancho, Rashford. Oh, that is a foul. Book him, ref. This is unsportsmanlike behavior. Going with a wicked delivery. And it's through to Thomas Muller. Oh, we've taken him down. No, it's Malinkovic Savic who fell over. How is that possible? And now back to Rashford. The English connection with Luke Shaw. And now he'll find Luke Shaw again. He'll find Rashford. And in the middle, he's got Kai Havertz. But Marcus Rashford here. The number 10. The United hero, Mank Bourne and Bread. And there we go. It was Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford combining down that left-hand side. A quick little cheeky counter-attack. And there we go. That's the opener here at Wembley. We celebrate right in front of the travelling fans. And we get into the lead. Gets him, boys. A brilliant piece of play. You love to see it. A cheeky little Ronaldo chop in there as well. Sends Romagnoli back to Italy. And there we go. Edison couldn't do much about that one. Cool, calm, and collected. He slotted it into the bottom corner. Milinkovic Savic. The Serbian will find 
Jed and Sancho out wide. Sancho gives the ball back in to Marcus Rashford. A lovely little one to the Englishman. Really shining today. And look at Marcus Rashford. He might be in for the second here. And it's slotted into the bottom left. He is world class. And he is showing his true colours here today. He loves a derby goal against City or Liverpool. And it's Marcus Rashford again. The boy wonder. Doing wonders up top. He deserves that number 10 on the back. It might be minus 10 degrees out there on the pitch. But boy oh boy. He is colder than ice Marcus Rashford. What a performance he's had so far. It's 2-0 before half time. Ikeda, Malenko, love it. Love it. And Anthony Martial, you know when he's got the gloves on, he means business. And this could turn into a rampage before half time. Edison blocks that one away. And it's now Malinkovic Savage. Could we get a third before the half time break? And look at this. He'll cross it into the middle. Rashford was there. It's another big save from Edison. Surely now it's half time. And there we go. We are 2 0 up going into the break. The second 45 awaits us. And the Carabao Cup should be in our hands, let's hope. Had a sniff in this game. And look at this. Kai Havertz now, he's been involved in a few goals today. Can he get one of his own? No, he'll give it back to Milinkovic Savage. Milinkovic Savage will have another go back into Martial. Call Milinkovic Savage. And we've yet again nullified another city attack. Havertz over the top to Rashford. This could be the hat trick. One on one with Edison. A little dink, and it's off the crossbar. That would have capped off his game perfectly. Just passing around right now, not really doing all too much with the ball. They're just. Trying to wait for the right time to strike, and it's not really happening for them. We're still defending really well right now. The clean sheet is intact, but I don't want to jinx it here. Look at uh, De Bruyne go. De Bruyne, he's going to take a shot. He will take a shot, and look at that. After I was hyping our defense up, I was hyping up the clean sheet. David De Gea hasn't had anything to do today, and the first shot on target, the first real chance, it's Kevin De Bruyne, the captain, to half the deficit, and it's 2-1. City peg one back. I mean, sometimes you just have to sit back, watch, and admire a world-class finish nestling into the upper echelons of the goal. The Portuguese right back chucked in for today's game. He's performing really well. And now Kai Havertz in again. He could set up Rashford for the hat-trick. And that is game, set, and match. Our number 10 with another perfect performance. And Wembley does not know what has hit them. A sucker punch to the corner flag. And we get the third. Now that is done and dusted. And City's defense just collapsed today. I don't even know what's going on with them. But Pep Guardiola's got his own issues. Rashford nets that one into an empty goal. And we go 3-1 up. But it doesn't matter as the trophy is done. It's secured. And we've probably had one of our best games here. Winning the derby at Wembley. And we get our hands on the trophy. Kevin De Bruyne's late strike wasn't enough a perfect Marcus Rashford hat trick was the main headline is going to take the headlines as we get another domestic piece of silverware to our name in this career mode and I'm actually really disappointed in how City played it they didn't really test us all too much in another game in another day Man City would have performed well and played us off the park the ribbons are red and white for this one I'll leave you with the hair lifting up the trophy again and we'll get straight back into more action in episode 5 but for now the Carabao Cup is ours So a lot of you guys' comments down below were saying to edit our little Zlatan regen that we picked up recently. And let's just say there's, yeah, there's been a few changes. With the new realism mod, we can literally edit everything and anything. We've given him that little Ebra ponytail and it's fluttering around beautifully whilst he's running. Just look at that action going on. We've hooked him up with some fresh new boots. We've got him some gloves on. And yeah, we've just customized him a bit. He's gone down to the same barbershop as Sir BCHD. Got a little Ebra-like ponytail. Tail. So at least he resembles a bit of Ebra here and there. We're not going to change his hair color. That'll remain blonde. Let me know if we should just have fun with this guy and just customize everything. Like give him a nickname and, you know, change his number. Let me know down below. The future is bright. 
for this region. We can just have a bit of fun with him. He's not a real player. He's Zlatan V2. So let me know anything and everything can be changed about this guy. I'll be looking at your guys' comments down below. We've given him a few little celebrations in there as well. So I'm keen to get him some game time as well here at Manchester United. We welcome Spurs back to Old Trafford. They handed us our first Premier League defeat in the last episode. Unfortunately, our undefeated record is undone. And that is going to be the team to face them today. We've mixed it up a little bit. It is the second squad. And we've given Rodrigo his debut down that right-hand side. A really nice little feature that the Realism mod brings back into career mode. You might remember this if you've played career mode for a while now the injury list it used to be in here but now it's not we can check up on Tottenham Hotspur to see who their injuries are and look it is Eric Dyer and also Harry Kane the man who scored the goal to end our winning streak so two vital players are out for Spurs now let's take advantage and get into the quarters there's no snow to distract us today it is a clear night here in Manchester Old Trafford is ready I'm really looking forward to seeing how this second team can do because I, I do believe we've got a lot of quality in this second 11 and what a beautiful shot of Old Trafford that is the bird's eye view and this is our Tottenham lineup Mauricio Pochettino's boys have got Hugo Lloris in goal it is Phil Jones making a return back to Old Trafford Deli Ali, Troy Parrott gets a start as well as Hyunmin Sun up top for Tottenham Jao Felix without his game face will kick us off and Tottenham are all over us to start off with and it's back to Otavio the most dangerous player so far, Deli Ali, and it's Ruben Diaz. He can't get the ball away though. And Human son Henderson deals with it well at his near post. Can he find the right run? It is Rodrigo, the number 16. His first few touches in a Manchester United jersey. And he'll find the ball in to João Felix. Surely he's onside the Portuguese young gun. And that is our first real side of goal. And it's our first goal here with the number 79. João Felix proving to be worth every single penny right now. And it was a splitting pass. He split open the defense. And it was perfectly lifted. The perfect touch as well. And one-on-one -on -one he doesn't fail us. João Felix is really coming after Marcus Rashford's starting 11 position right now. But... I'm glad we've brought him in because he is scoring a bunch of goals for us. And Rodrigo will lift that one in. It's going to be Bailey to get the header, but it's just wide of the post. Back through to Human Son. He'll give it off. He was one-on-one -on -one with Dean Henderson, but he doesn't have faith in himself. The South Korean at the back post. It is Troy Parrott, and it smashed the side netting. Through to Yuri Tielemans. He's got a wicked shot on him. He'll use it here, and Lloris palms away. And now that is half time. Thankfully, because Spurs were looking more and more likely to score in that opening first half. We're going to the break at 1-0 up thanks to João Felix. This is Soko running things for Spurs in midfield right now. As Otavio lifts that one into the back post. It's Troy Parrott again. And he spurred another chance there. The young Irishman. Back to Indombele. Big tackle from Fabian Ruiz. And that is what you love to see from him. A dynamic midfielder in here. João Felix over the top. Fabian Ruiz 1-on-1. He'll cut it back. I'm not going to have faith in him there, but... Back to Eric Bailly, not Eric Bailly, Bailey. And now Tielemans finds it through. João Felix with the chip and that is cheeky. The audacity from the Portuguese wonder kid. And it's Felix the hero. Felix with the double and we've taken the most of our chances. Spurs really deserve a goal with the way they've been playing. But you don't get the points. You don't get results from putting pressure on. You get results from taking your chances. And there we go. Loris made a fool from the boy João Felix. And it was ever so slight, ever so delicate. And it rolls over the line for our second. 2-0 up. And Pochettino cannot believe this. Back to Deli Alley. Eric Lamella. And Henderson hasn't had too much to do tonight. Brought into action and he's blocked that one away. Oh, they found a great ball into Eric Lamella. Straight off the bench, the Argentine. Surely Ruben Diaz can deal with it. And Zinchenko, a nice little palm away from Henderson. We haven't got the job done yet. And Wambasaka to clear it away. Get that out of here, Tielemans. Spurs are not giving up. They're not letting it. In. And look at this, Otamendi's in the box, former Manchester City player, back to Otamendi, and Otamendi Henderson, he has had a great game, and the Englishman makes another brilliant save, and it's back to Rodrigo on debut, can he get a goal on debut, the Brazilian, now to take advantage, and Lloris with the save, what an action-packed last few minutes there, but we are into the quarterfinals, Spurs had enough in them to challenge us, but didn't really do all too much with their possession and attacks, and we took advantage of it, and it was individual brilliance from Jao Felix to get us over the line at Old Trafford. We win again, and we get revenge for that Premier League loss. We go out winners, and it's another brilliant night out here in the FA Cup. So the second team got the job done in the FA Cup. Can the first team get the job done here away against Bournemouth in our first Premier League game of this episode so far? We're away, and it's a 6-0 demolition job 
Martial with two, Havertz, Milikovic, Savage, Pogba, and Jimenez on the score sheet. We have demolished Bournemouth there, and Eddie Howe's men, a 6-0. We've run riot against Eddie Howe's men, and Bournemouth are humiliated. And the first team are going to have back-to-back -back games. In with a few changes, Rodrigo and also Diaz Maguire are going to be making their appearances at the back, as well as Juan Basaka's back in the team. It's our second leg up against RB Leipzig. I mean, we've absolutely destroyed them, so we should be getting the job done here at Old Trafford. No questions asked. We're already up 5-0 in aggregate, and it's 2-1 there. Savage and Shaw on the score sheet. Augustin for RB Leipzig brought them back a little lifeline, but it wasn't enough. So there we go. Manchester United are through, and Sir BCHC has given his thumbs up. Our best starting 11 will go out again with another easy task at hand. It seems easy on paper, but we're away up against Watford in the FA Cup the next round. And in round six, we surely should get the win here. It's 3 0 Rashford, Milinkovic, Savage, and Pogba with all the goals. Actually, in a new upcoming update for the Realism mod, there should be the simulation system, the old simulation system back where you can actually watch the match play out and see what happens throughout the game. Maybe in the next episode, we would have that. And it provides a bit more suspense. It provides a bit more, you know, I don't know why they removed it, but, you know, it's not the instant skip. We have to work towards victory. And don't you worry, we're still keeping up to date and doing daily training with Greenwood, Gomes, and James. And I'm not sure how much Ed Woodward and the Glazers are paying you away for right now, but we've gotten lucky again in the quarterfinals. We got drawn up against probably the best team, the easiest team that we wanted to get drawn up against. It's Sporting Lisbon. Otherwise, in other games, Liverpool versus Juventus, Barcelona taking on Olympic Lyon, and Leverkusen up against Milan. Come to think of it, there's only a few teams in there that could really challenge right now. A lot of teams got eliminated in there, like Inter, and we'll take a look at Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, and also PSG got eliminated, and Real Madrid too. So a lot of big heavy hitters in the Champions League eliminated early, and that leaves room for us to come in and dominate. In the meantime, though, we've got a weakened squad, a little rotated side. I wanted to mix up the team a little bit, give some lads some rest, and obviously some game time to the three boys in training, Greenwood, Gomez, and James, all starting today, as well as Rodrigo, another big game for him to shine. Let's just get another routine win. Let's just see what we can do here. Traveling down to London, it's another big game in the Premier League that we need to win. A Premier League lunchtime kickoff here, and our fans come all the way down to the Olympic Stadium to face West Ham, and it's another crucial three points that we need to take in order to increase the gap. It's a very weakened squad coming up against the Hammers. The fans are out in numbers, and it's another three points in the Premier League that we need to take with a top-scoring team in the Premier League with 73 goals. So let's hope that trend continues today. And it's our old boy Sergio Romero. We sold him to the Hammers. I completely forgot forgot about that. He is going to be in net trying to spoil our party and stop the goals coming in today, but we are planning to change that. And there's a pretty decent side from West Ham coming out here with likes of Wilshere. Four now is Haller up top as well. All right, Haller will kick us off today. Let's get this done. Greenwood could have made a nice little run here. The Welshman hasn't got too many options, but it's back to Greenwood. And it's a lovely little one-two between the boys that are training in our training regime. And there we go. It's as simple as you like. And Daniel James, we've rewarded him with a start in the starting 11, and he's given us a goal. What a link up between Greenwood and him. The two boys combined, and it's what you want to see. It is a lovely day out here in London so far, and we're taking every chance by the scruff of the neck right now. Sergio Romero can't do much about that one. Rice into Sebastian Haller. Declan Rice with a venomous shot, but Dean Henderson deals with it. In the middle, it's Greenwood. Can he get another assist here over the top to his partner in Gomez? And Gomez will cut that one back. Our dynamic cam gives it off to Daniel James again. Is that a brace? No, it's Greenwood with the volley. And it's a heroic block from the West Ham defender. That could have well been the second. Four nows. Is there a big header on the way? Sebastian Haller. It is Diop. Diop off to Piccini. And now Pablo Four nows. They're just playing ping pong in the box. Off to his youth academy graduate. Off to his training partner. And this is a lovely little link up. Greenwood's overrun and unfortunately, but now the number 26 gets back on side and Mason gives it off to Gomez. A lovely little piece of play to get away from his defender and Angel Gomez nearly gets the goal he deserves. And look at this, Nemanja Matic, another former player that we've sold to the Hammers. They love taking our former players. And now it's two X-Men United boys on the pitch. Hello. Back into Matic, back into Haller. Haller with the equaliser. And West Ham haven't had too much to show for this game. And in the 87th minute, it's their big French target man up top. The number 22 bags a goal in front of the home support. And it's at the near post. Dean Henderson gets caught out. And it's Sammy Kadira playing for West Ham as well. What is going on with this West Ham team? But they've split our defense open. Ruben Diaz out of position. 
and it was a tidy little finish from the Frenchman. And that is going to be it. Not enough time for the subs to make an impact. And it's points dropped here in London at the Olympic Stadium. It finishes 1-1. And it's our first draw of the episode. First draw in a while. Another monthly scouting update. And we're going to recruit Max Green, 14 years of age. These wonder kids just keep getting younger and younger with this realism mod, but that is going to be it for that. This is how the Youth Academy is looking. We've got a lot of high potential, high value, and just interesting prospects on the cards. I'm interested to call them up and make them the class of 2020, the class of 2021. Obviously, a lot of them are still underage, so we can't really do all too much with them. But there are still a few wonder kids that have got a lot going for them with that 96 potential. Our youth intake and recruitment has been through the roof here at Manchester United. And I'm going to have to play things by ear, but I want to see if we can promote them sooner rather than later in the near future. Now, it was second team disappointment away at West Ham. We dropped points. So let's hope we can get straight back up as Everton. They've got three wins in a row. We've dropped points yet again. They were on amazing form. And Milinkovic Savage salvages us a draw at Old Trafford. And look at that. We've done more training. However, Greenwood and Gomez have just gone up overalls nonetheless. Greenwood at an 82. And now Gomez at an 83. Oh, bad news. We have some terrible news to share right now. Marcus Rashford has picked up an injury. He's torn his hip flexor. And he's 100% fit in six weeks. Our top goal scorer, our best player this season. So this is the time where we need Jao Felix to step up. Jimenez is injured as well. We're picking up a few injuries here. This is not looking good. So we've gone ahead and chucked in our second squad here. A lot of the youth players getting a start. And players that don't really get all too much game time as we have our big one up against Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. Which we will go ahead and play next. I believe we have our first leg. And look at this, April 3rd, 2021, on my birthday, we take the loss 2-0 to Brighton. That is terrible, boys. We've got to pick up the slack in this next game. Brighton were down to 10 men as well, and it's Uno and Trossard getting the three points for the Seagulls. But we need to have our heads held high. We're going into our first leg away in Portugal in our Champions League do or die fixture. This will be an interesting one. Ronaldo's former side. And we're going to have our main team out for this one. No slip-ups. It is a win nonetheless. We need a lot of away goals to take with us. There we go. That is the starting 11. Up to face Sporting Lisbon. Jao Felix back in his home nation as well. And it's the capital Lisbon awaiting us here. Luis Nani played here. It was Ronaldo to play here as well. So Sporting Lisbon are not to be messed with here. Bruno Fernandes, one of our summer transfer targets, obviously is going to be looking to prove himself and showing what he is worth. We haven't had the hardest opponents up yet, but it's still a test that we need to overcome. And anything can happen in European football. We need to put our heads down, get the job done, and not let the pressure get to us. It's going to be Lisbon to kick us off. Let's get this underway. Lovely football we've opened up with here. Havertz will shift that one across to Anthony Martial. It's been in decent form so far. Martial cross into the back post for Pogba. It's easy as one, two, three. It is the French connection again. And Mr. Paul Pogba didn't mean to do it, but he's gone on and dabbed. Okay, that was a bit cringe. I wanted him to do his new celebration. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But Martial with an exquisite ball into the back post. And the one to rise above the rest was Paul Pogba. An arrowing header down into the bottom corner. And it's 1-0. One, one away goal, baby. Sancho cuts back inside. And there is... Jao Felix, he's onside as well. Back to Paul Pogba, the goal scorer. In to Milinkovic Savic, he unleashes. And it's just wide of the post from the Serbian. Bruno Fernandes cuts back inside. Vendel, Vendel takes the strike. And what a strike it was. It's Bruno Fernandes with the assist. And that is an absolute rocket. Someone call NASA. Because Sporting Lisbon have just launched an absolute rocket into the top right-hand corner. That is brilliant. And we can see the equaliser here. It's a home goal for the fans to cheer about. And the Portuguese outfit through Vendel, through the legs of Maguire. Yet again, he's at fault. And whilst Jimenez is out injured, we're going to have to have him in the back line. BCHD pulling his hair out at that one. we got to go again. Paul Pogba can find his midfield compatriot, Milinkovic Savic. It is off the line and out. With Jaden Sancho running down the wing. Have we got a runner at the back post? Yes, it is Martial. Martial is there. And it could have been another Champions League goal for him. Havertz again. Martial has probably been our best player on the pitch right now. Can he get... A goal to add to his collection. There we go. He makes up for it. And he well deserves that goal right there. Runs to the corner flag and bags us another away goal here in Portugal. We've outshunned them. And another juicy counter-attack from the lads. Up to his old tricks. Up to his old antics. We have shown our quality there. Martial has really stepped up in the Champions League. And without Rashford, he is now our main source of goals. Cut back. Avoid that slide challenge. And Martial again. 
will show his pace. And look at this. It's 1-1 with the goalkeeper. Could be a carbon copy. No, he will lend it off to Havertz. And it's going to be Joao Felix back in his home country. He's back in Portugal. And he's scoring the goals against Ligonos competition. There we go. It could have been an exact goal for Martial. But we gave it off. Havertz shot deflected. And it was there to be taken from Joao Felix in the right place at the right time. The goal poacher with a left-footed volley. And that is our third away goal. 3-1. Felix, oh, this could be brilliant, and Havertz again, we're denied by the keeper. Here we go, Lindelof, there's a lot of space, and look at this, it's a sublime run, a sublime finish as well, and Jao Felix, he's taken my breath away, and the Portuguese star, he's come back to his old rivals, and he's come back to haunt them with a double. The defence opened up here, and Havertz found him, and it was a brilliant little P-roller. Those are unsavable. We go 4-1 up. Four away goals to bring back to Old Trafford. And that is going to be full-time. The referee brings to an end Sporting Lisbon's misery. He was a 4-1 demolition job. They did really well to get that goal, but we responded with a Jao Felix double, a Martial masterclass, another Champions League away day victory, another European night, a Champions League away day victory. So considering you guys pretty much know that we're into the next round of the Champions League, that is too much of a deficit to overcome for little old sporting Lisbon. We're going to simulate past that to the calendar and you can already see we're into the semis there with a 1-0 win and then against Norwich we dominated and destroyed them 5-0. So at the end of episode 5 it's not really a 10 point gap anymore. This is going to go right down to the wire here. Who knows how many episodes are left depending on how far we get into the Champions League and not even the Premier League is guaranteed yet. We did take that L today and it wasn't looking good. We're only 5 points. I mean Man City they're right behind us with five points. It is Spurs, Liverpool, Arsenal and Chelsea making up the top six. We'll take a look at the relegation battle. And it was Norwich, Leeds United and Watford all in the bottom three. We're up against Newcastle United at Wembley in the FA Cup final. That is likely, if we go ahead and win that one against the Magpies, we're most likely to be up against the Gunners. We obviously had this episode winning the Carabao Cup and in the Champions League. Oh my gosh, again we get lucky with the draw. Look at this. We're up against Bayer Leverkusen, the German outfit. It's Kai Havertz former team they've made it all the way to the semi-finals somehow without Kai Havertz I'm yet to know how they have pulled that off but somehow they have and the German outfit will be facing us in the semis it is Liverpool versus Barcelona in the other semi-finals it's going to be season defining Premier League action it's going to be a vital Champions League semi-finals on the cards and even an FA Cup semi-final as well so the quadruple is still on we've been hit with injuries we've been hit with a few draws and drop points here and there but we still strive on here at Manchester United. At Old Trafford, we continue. And that is going to be it for episode 5. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to slap a like on the video down below. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out. And keep up to date with everything going on here on the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Also, comment down below any suggestions you have for the series. I have been BCHD. Hopefully you did enjoy. Have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you on the very next video.